Okay, Shalom. I like to give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai Hashem, Rakak Dash. Peace to the hope of the left of Israel, double honors to the apostles, the elders, and brethren of the great millstone, and all like minded brothers who are preaching the truth all around the earth. This is Brother Atazawam coming at you with another lesson. Okay, and Lord willing it'll be edifying, and I'm going to try to make it quick as, as possible. Okay, um, earlier today, the uh, Spirit jumped on me to do a quick lesson about, um, hey, this is not our rest, right? Uh, living in this day and time, you know, um, to, to get right to the point, you know, we preach and teach the gospel of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? To seal the elect and to get out of here. We're not interested in staying here. We're not interested in building something here. We're not interested in trying to live out our retirement. Um, long story short, I had a conversation with a good friend of mine who I uh, you know, uh, consider, you know, close to like being a brother. I've told him the truth. I've explained the truth to him. Um, but yet, I don't think he sees it or gets it. Um, he goes into a conversation today about uh, potentially, you know, retiring from his job. And he's been, you know, on his job over 30 years. And uh, he just wants to enjoy his life and enjoy the fruits of his labor, so to speak. And uh, I try to get the point across to him, man, that he, you know, he shouldn't be, um, you know, I mean, if you if you got it like that where you want to retire from work, then that's that's fine. I have no problem with that. But don't count on uh, Salakia for the glare in my glasses. Um, but don't count on delivering yourself, okay, uh, with what you have in your savings. Now I've done a lesson on this kind of thing before. I've I, I've at least mentioned it in a lesson. And today, you know, the spirit was on me, you know, do a lesson about, um, you know, you jakes thinking that, you know, whatever you have, you know, what you have, you want to enjoy it. Okay, you want to enjoy it and not lose it. Um, or you want to get more of what you have. Okay, um, thinking that, you know, your gain is going to really profit you something in this particular time. Okay. We're in the time of the end, okay? And if you can't see that, then obviously something is wrong with you. As the scripture says, and we're going to get it in a quick second here, you can't discern the signs of the time, okay? Um, so then, uh, as I, when I got home from, from work today, I saw that the elder brother, uh, Manatha Zakba, um, down in South Carolina, that elder brother did a lesson on, on uh, uh, these groups of so-called, these Negroes, who buying land down there in Georgia. And I just say, hey, that's the spirit, you know, um, because after watching his, his lesson, I, I said, you know, that's exactly what I'm talking about, man. You jakes have got to get out of this mindset. One, you're going to deliver yourself and that, you know, what you have stored up, saved up um, is, is somehow is, is so precious. It's more precious than, than the kingdom, man. You're supposed to be building up your faith okay and repenting so that you could inherit the kingdom you know not worrying about you know whether or not you're going to be i'm going to start my own business now i am i'm not against that i'm not against if you want to start your own business i'm not against any of that uh, but you can't look at that as that's going to be your source okay like that's going to deliver you from babylon the great and it's not so with that i'm, I'm just going to jump right into some scriptures i got some scriptures lined up um, Lord willing, you know, I'll get through all of them, but maybe not, you know, because I don't want to go too long uh, with this. I just really just clearly just want to make the point, okay? And um, I got it on my phone as well as I, you know, got my Bible with me. But um, let's, I think it'll be easier. Let me just go ahead and read it from, from the phone here, okay? Uh, uh, and I'm just going to hit the scriptures because most of us know what it means. And then, you know, like I said, uh, those who may be new, you know, go back and read the scriptures. OK, go back and study it. Go back and, and look the words up and so on and so forth. OK, this is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted and shall destroy you even with a sword of destruction. This place is not our rest. OK, and there's there's too many of too many, too many jakes who think that they're going to get over, you know, in, in this lifetime, man. 
you know, that this is the place that they want to be in, okay? Um, and the Lord clearly has already told us, you know, here in, in these various different captivities, you know, that we're not going to find, you're not going to find what you're looking for. You're not, the, king, the kingdom is not set up for us, okay? This is a wicked kingdom, okay? Um, I'm just going to go right to... Uh, I'm going to go right to uh, Luke 12 and 54, okay? And he said also to the people, When ye see a cloud rise out of the west, straightway ye say, There cometh a shower. And so it is. Verse 55, And when ye see the south wind blow, ye say, There will be heat. And it cometh to pass. Verse uh, 56, Ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it that ye do not discern this time? Okay, you, you're looking at the climate of everything that's going on. Prophecies are popping off left and right. You know, all the tumultuous things that are going on in the earth. And you still got Jake here in Babylon, in, in, the, in the Americas. And I would, I would gather around the world, okay, some who still think that they need to be a part of this society. Or that they want to enjoy, like my buddy said, the fruits of his labor. You know, not discerning the time that you're living in. Okay? Um, uh, let me see. Let me see if I want to go to the next verse. I'll just go to the next scripture. Because I don't, I don't want this lesson to be long. You know, um, not being able to discern the time. Okay, understand this is not your rest. Okay, we're waiting on the kingdom to come. Okay? Um, let me go up to... Uh, this is uh, Revelation 21 and 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people and the Most High Himself shall be with them and be their power. Okay, verse 4. And the Most High shall wipe away all their tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Right, the former things are passed away. This first earth is going to pass away. You're not going to have your little nest egg if you will and take it to the other side with you it's not going to happen so it's calling yourself building a city or a town okay in the backwoods of georgia somewhere okay thinking that you're going to that's a, that's a place where you're going to and as the article the brother uh the the, the brother um uh, brought out um a place where black people can feel safe you're not going to feel safe you're not going to be safe you know that's, I, I don't understand why that's so hard for people to get. Okay? Now, once again, I'm not against you either. If, if you, if you want to save money, if you want to try to be thrifty, if you want to save to get yourself a, a, another vehicle, if your vehicle is back, all of those things are fine. But you can't look at that as if to say that that's going to help you to the point of delivering you, getting you to the other side, or that you, you are so confident in this system that you put all your money into uh, stocks and bonds or mutual funds and all these different things, man. Then people ain't doing nothing but ciphering your money off. You know, Esau is not going to let you, it's not designed for you to prosper. Not like that, okay? Uh, particularly if you call yourself, you know, a repentant soul or a man of the Lord or a woman of the Lord, you know, you shouldn't be looking for Babylon to give you anything. Now, I'm not going to babble on, let me get, like Babylon, right? Let me uh, get to the next scripture. This is Ezekiel 12 and 1. The word of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh also came unto me, saying, Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house, which have eyes to see and see not. They have ears to hear and hear not, for they are a rebellious house. Okay? You all, you know, there are some out there who just will not listen. You know, you got 
You got men of the Lord who are, who are teaching you, okay? You got men of the Lord who are on highways and byways, making lessons, doing shows. You have no excuse for not knowing this by now, okay? And you're in the last days. So the Spirit at some point should have gotten on you or on certain men or women or children for that matter to get to these lessons on YouTube. Some way or another, you're going to stumble onto somebody's lesson, okay? That's going to teach you about righteousness, okay, and repenting and, and, and learning the, the, the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, the true names, right, and preparing yourself for the kingdom, okay, let's get on to the next one, uh, it's like you. I'm going to go to Mark chapter 4 verse 1 and it reads and he began again to teach by the seaside and there were gathered unto him a great a great multitude so that he entered into a ship and sat at the sea and the whole multitude was by the sea on the land and he taught them many things by parables and said unto them in his doctrine hearken behold there went out a sower to sow okay and it came to pass as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowl of the air came and devoured it up, and some fell on the stony ground where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up, because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. And other fell on good ground, and did yield fruit, and sprang up, and increased, and brought forth some thirty, some sixty, some a hundred. And that's the, that's, that's the seed that you want to be, right? You want that seed to fall upon you. You want to be that good ground where the word is sold to you, and you can bring forth more. You see? The more people you can go out there and teach, or do a lesson, or lessons, and, 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 and bring folks in. You see? Verse 9, and he said unto them, He that had ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was alone, they that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of the Most High, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables, that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they, they may hear and not understand, least at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them and we've gone over that a million times right so we know that the, the 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 word of the lord is for a certain group a special group okay the elect group okay and the others it's not given to them okay and he said unto them know ye not this parable and how when will ye know all parables the sower soweth the word okay so we sow the word and just as as a prime example of getting back to this acquaintance of mine you know I've sold the word to this brother several times but yet he still does not he's still worried about how good he, can he live when he's done working that he gonna start his own business I'm gonna get rental property I'm a, I'm a, I got this lawn care service he's doing all these things you know to try to make more money on top of your retirement so you're not even thinking about repenting you're not even thinking about coming out of the world you're just thinking about how you could get more, right? Which is what Esau does. Esau wants more. If there's anything so-called white people want, it's more. Okay? They don't care what it is. They just want more. You see? And Jake got a bad habit of trying to think that, that the more money they have, the more property that they have, the richer they are over everybody else. You see? So with that, I'm just going to move on to the next to the next scripture, I think I got the um, I think I got the precept for it. I think I pulled it up. Let me see. Yeah, and I'm not gonna read all of it. Luke eight. Um, I'll just start at eleven. Now the parable is this: the seed is the word of the Most High. Okay. Uh, verse twelve. Those by the wayside are they that hear. Then cometh the devil, and taketh away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. They on the rocks are they which, when they hear 
receive the word with joy, and these have no root, which for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. Yeah, when it get too hard, they forget about the word. Okay? And that which fell among thorns are they which when they have heard go forth and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection. You see? You worried about the cares of this world, whether or not you're going to get to enjoy because with this whole COVID-19 thing, you know, you got people who are worried whether or not they're going to get to, to, to uh, uh, travel again. Whether they, I was supposed to go to Hawaii the, the, oh, two weeks ago and now we're, hey man, you know, all that's over with. You see? So they worried about the cares of this world. I read it again, verse 14. And they which fell among thorns are they which they have heard go forth and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection. But that on the good ground are they which in honest and good heart have heard the word, kept it, bring forth fruit with patience. Okay? you got to have patience. All right, in due time, things are going to be right for us. You see, but you got a problem with Jay. Jay always want to show out, want to show that he got more than everybody else, doing better than everybody else. Okay. I'm going to go on to uh, James 5. Okay. James 5 and 1. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupt and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. Right. Shelling all that stuff away. Squirreling stuff away. You know, because he, 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 watch. I'm going to have him be living better than everybody else. Okay. You did, and I could get that other scripture where it tell you your soul is now required. Fool, oh fool, your soul is now required of you. Something to that effect, you know, paraphrasing it. You know, you don't know if you're going to make it. And that's one of the things I try to get across the folk. You don't know if you're going to make it. Okay? You better repent while you have time. Verse 3 again. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. And that's what this, you know, this brother, you know, is, is that, I, that I work with is worried about. You know, heaping them treasures for the last days can never get enough. And you know, if you and, and I'm just going to use this as an example. If your if, if 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 your retirement looks like it's going to be you know uh, four thousand, let's just say four thousand dollars a month. You know, that's not enough for you. So you you got to find a way to get some more. You got to get some more residual income. You got to you got to have some. Well, what's enough? Six thousand, ten thousand, twelve thousand. What's enough money for you in a month to live? You see? Uh, verse uh, 4, James 5 and 4. It's like, Behold, the hire of the laborer who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabbath. Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been one time. Ye have nourished your hearts as in the day of slaughter, okay? And you don't want to be that person, man. Let's go to James 2. James 2 and 1. My brethren, have not the faith of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, the Lord of glory, with respect of persons? For if there come into your assembly a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment, and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, Stand thou there, or sit here under my footstool. Are ye not the partial in yourself, and are become judges of evil thoughts? That's right. So, you know, people still want to have that high esteem of themselves, you see. And they judge people based on what they think a, pe a person did. How many times have you met a person for the first time and the first question they ask you is, well, what do you do? You know, they didn't even ask you, you know, you know, um, anything, you know, pertinent to, to you as a person. The first thing they want to want to know about you is, what do you do? What kind of work do you do? Okay, past judgment. 
Same thing with with any material thing. You know, people people see see you driving an expensive automobile. You know, they want to know what you do. You know, or 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 they assume that you some some fat cat, some some big shot. You know, because you're driving a big fancy uh, car. See, all right. And then in that, you know, they want to treat you a certain way. But if they think that you a bum or you don't have nothing or you just a worker, you know, then they treat you differently. You see? Verse um, 3. And you have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place and say to the poor, Stand thou here. So like you stand thou, stand thou there or sit here under my footstool. Are ye not then partial in yourselves? And are become judges of evil thoughts. Hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not the Most High chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith? That's where you're supposed to be rich. You're supposed to be rich in your faith. Okay? And the Lord chose his poor. Okay? And heirs of the kingdom which he hath promised to them that love him. See, but if you got trust in your riches, then you're not rich towards the Most High, and you're not showing that you love him. Okay, if you trust it in riches, and let me mind, mind you, let me just say that land is riches if you own in land. Okay, verse 6 But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judge, judgment seats? Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by the which ye are called? Yeah. Do they, do they not trample on the God, the godly, right? Particularly Jake. Now I'm going to go on here to, to uh, Hebrews. Hebrews 13. And I'm going to start at uh, verse 1. Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. Remember them that are in bonds as bound by, with them and them which suffer adversity as being yourselves also in the body. Marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers the Most High will judge. Let your conversation be without covetousness. And this conversation that I had today was all about covetousness. What more can I get? What more do I want to have, you know, um, and that's all I heard all day long, you know, and, and it just rubbed me the wrong way, you know, I've had this conversation before, you see, but then again, like I said, so watching the elders uh, show today, you know, inspired me even more to do this lesson, because you can't, as, as, as repentant souls, man, to we we have to stay on the straight and narrow. We can't let anything get in front of us, right? And believe it or not, Satan will put those things out there in front of you and cause you to go off. Like buying 90 acres of land for for $1,000 an acre, right? Or, or putting something in front of you to trip you up getting you a, a new position, you know, somewhere that, that, yeah, now I get to make six figures and, you know, this is what I always wanted, but it may be a trap for you to going down the road. Something that'll take you out of the truth or something that'll keep you from hearing the truth, right? Those seeds that fell on what? Thorns, fell on the ground that wasn't good, and the seed had no way to grow in you. You see? Let me go on to verse 5. Uh, I'll, I'll repeat it. Uh, uh, Hebrews 13 and 5. Let your conversation be without covetousness. And be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. So you're supposed to be living on faith. Okay? He's going to give you all the things that you need. He's going to provide all of those things. See, but Jake can't get with that. Okay? Verse 6. So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. 
You see? And so when you sit here and you be worldly and be and carnal minded, you know, you're trusting in riches. You're going to get caught out there. Okay, we're on 25 minutes. I'm going to hurry up. This is my last scripture right here. Um, yeah, I'm going to start at... Uh, I'll just start at nine, uh, Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth where moth and rust doeth corrupt and where, where, where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doeth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Okay? So that's a reminder. Okay? And uh, this is not the time to think that you're going to build something here uh, when we're trying to get out of here. Your focus should be repentance and your focus should be trying to get out of here. Sowing the seed, sowing the word, helping it grow, being fruitful. Okay, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Not worrying about whether you can buy yourself a city somewhere and, and tell all the black folk to come okay or whatever group you associate yourself with so that they can feel safe they'll burn that place down they get all of you in there all 13,000 of you okay and come through there and, and shoot that place up bomb that place up or drop some kind of chemical biological chemical warfare bomb on you and all 13,000 of you be be out of here okay you be lost all right with that I'm gonna end the lesson Lord willing it's edifying to somebody who watches it you know, I'm going to say, call hello, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekakadash. Peace to the hope of elected Israel. And I'll see you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Shalom.